protein. How much is the right amount for you? How much is too much? How much is too little? Grab your calculator. Hi everyone, I'm Roberta. I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist. I spent 25 years working in a hospital teaching nutrition to cardiac rehab patients, diabetes patients, and bariatric patients. So how much protein do you need in a day? Well, you need one to 1.5 grams per kilogram of your adjusted body weight. We're gonna figure out our adjusted body weight in a minute. But since we tend to not use kilograms, I converted it to pounds, so you need 0.45 to 0.68 grams of protein per pound of your adjusted body weight. How do we figure out adjusted body weight? It's pretty easy. You take your current weight, you subtract your ideal body weight, the weight that you're working toward, and that's how many pounds you need to lose. Then you take your ideal body weight, the weight that you're working towards, and you add just a fourth of the weight that you need to lose. That is your adjusted body weight. Let's do a quick example. Let's say someone weighs 180 pounds and they want to get to 140 pounds. So we know they need to lose 40 pounds. We take their ideal body weight again and we add just a fourth of the weight that they need to lose so we end up with an adjusted body weight of 150 pounds and that's what they would use for the calculations. Did you figure out your adjusted body weight? Let's use that number in the equation up top. We're going to figure out your range of protein you need in a day. Take your adjusted body weight, multiply it by 0.45. That's how many grams of protein you need a day minimum. Then take your adjusted body weight, multiply that by 0.68. That's how many grams is the upper limit. You actually can go higher if you lift weights. We'll get to that in a moment. But now you have a nice range of how much protein you need every day. I just switched out the bulletin board because we need to cover something for all of you who are lifting weights and want to build muscle while losing weight. The question is, for building muscle, how much protein can the body use in a single meal? Because the body can only use a certain amount of protein at each meal for muscle building. The rest of the protein, it either stores as fat or you excrete it. So there's no point in eating more protein at one time than what your body can actually use. Let's see what that number is. To maximize muscle growth, consume protein at a target intake of, let's go down to the pounds, 0.18 grams per pound of your adjusted body weight. If you take your adjusted body weight and multiply it by 0.18 grams, then you'll know the maximum amount of protein your body can use to build muscle mass at one meal. Wait, there are two very important things I need to tell you. No reliable scientific data support a protein intake that exceeds 0.91 grams per pound of adjusted body weight. Meaning, take your adjusted body weight, multiply it by 0.91, and that's the maximum amount of protein you should have in a day. Unless, of course, you're a professional bodybuilder, but this video is not intended for professional bodybuilders. And the second thing, a reduction of protein intake to less than 0.36 grams per pound of adjusted body weight may result in protein malnutrition. Just two last things I need to do. The first is to remind you of the recommended protein sources, and those are things that are low in saturated fat, including fish, skinless poultry, lean meat, no fat dairy, low fat dairy, egg whites, beans, seeds, nuts, and plant-based proteins. What's not recommended are things high in saturated fat like fatty meats, fatty dairy products, because it's the saturated fat in food that makes our cholesterol go up. It's not the cholesterol in food that makes our cholesterol go up. It's the saturated fat in foods that make our cholesterol go up. We'll cover that in a different video. I hope that you definitely do this calculation right here to figure out your range of protein that you need in the day, and I also hope that you take your adjusted body weight and multiply it by 0.18 grams so you know 
how much protein your body can use at a single meal. Going over that amount of protein isn't necessary. But if you watched this video and you said, oh, I don't want to do any of these calculations, then just remember what we talked about in episodes three and four when we were figuring out the plates. In general, you need between 20 to 30 grams of protein per meal. So just keep it to that if you don't feel like doing any of these equations. Well, thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned something new. And until next time, take good care of yourself. Bye.